Hello to all my Stratomatic fans out there, baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I'm going to be showing off for the first time on my channel, Baseball Max. Now, I know I have said I'm on record, I'm on record a lot of places saying I wasn't going to get Baseball Max, but when I looked into it, I saw that they have um, a three-day uh, trial period where you can sign up for whichever plan you want the month to month or the um, or you know get a year uh, subscription all in um, one um, one purchase <clears throat> and either one of those comes with a three-day trial period over which you can try the game <clears throat> and decide if you like it or not so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I have played around a little bit with it. You'll see that in a minute. Um, I I do like it. I do. But um, the biggest difference I see between this and the computer game is that if you want to play the computer game, you have to buy a roster, the, the season roster for whatever season you want to play. And if you want to play two teams against each other, you have to have the season, you have to buy the season rosters for those two teams to play an exhibition game between those two teams. With Baseball Max, you can do that with no problem. You just do it, and every season's available. So, I mean, that's the difference. Um, but um, as I think ID Jester has said in the past, this won't. I don't think this will save your statistics. With the computer game, you can save your statistics. You can save your season. You can save your statistics. I think. Yeah. So um, with this, you just have your memories, as, as ID Jester so eloquently put it. Um, but it is. I mean, it's a it's a nice game. It's it's fun to play. You know, if you want to play two teams that you that you have not bought the seasons for in the computer, then that's fine. So uh, let's look. Um, I'm here. I'm on the main screen. Now, if you want to do a new game, you click on New Experience. Oh wait, it's. I guess I'm on New Experience. All right, I am. I'm already on New Experience right here. So if I want to do an exhibition game, <clears throat> so let's say I want to start an exhibition game. This is me. I'm the visitor. I can make myself the home team. Um, I can switch the game to day from night. Um, I'll leave the designated hitter on for the moment here just to show you how to start a new game because I have two games already in the queue that I've already started that I'm already into which I will uh, show you but um, and then this this is now this is it defaults to 2023 I guess but you can change it to any season I can go I can say I want the 1971 White Sox um, and um, then we can go we go next and then I can say I want the the 1990 uh, um, California Angels and so we go next it'll show you the lineups it'll show you the pictures all of this you know uh, so this is um, hmm. I guess I'm in this uh, setup I'm I don't know which, I forget which one I said I was going to, I think I'm the uh, the White Sox in this. But anyway, that's basically how you set that up um, if, you're, if you want to do a new game. But we're going to go back to game history and um, we're going to go into a game that I was starting between the 1969 White Sox and the 1969 Seattle Pilots. So I will resume that game. And so you can see now they, they have the cards in the game. Um, a lot of people who beta tested the game uh, made comments that 
initially it didn't have the um, it didn't it didn't show you the cards. The cards were in the background, but now they do show you the cards and they'll show you the roll. And um, so here you can see George Brunet is pitching for Seattle against Dwayne Josephson. And um, if you switch here, you can see what the box score is. So that shows you the box score of Chicago so far. If you look at the plays, no plays yet, at least in this inning. I guess it, what it shows is once you start an inning, you can look at the plays for that inning or that half inning. Um, you can look at the field. So this shows the field. and it, These are the um, max, I believe these are the baseball max ratings, which are not the Stratomatic ratings. Um, and let's see what's more. All right, that's just uh, other stuff that you can do. So we're gonna go back to the dice here, um, or or really, you can go back to the. You can look at the field, and then you can say, um, and then you can say swing away. So right here, I'm at bat with um, Dwayne Josephson. I say swing away, but then it shows the cards. And uh, that's going to be a possible home run. I mean, we're killing the Seattle Pilots, but they are the Seattle Pilots. So, um, so that was, uh, what was that? A single. So Josephson had, a, I don't, how did he go from, huh? Yeah, somebody somebody warned me about this. Is that the role the role that comes up, or what comes up, um, might actually end up being different than what happens? Because I thought that that was a home run, double split, and so it should have been a home run or a double, but he ended up with a single. So that's that's a potential problem. But anyway, um, Josephson got a single. And uh, and here, if I move myself, you can see that he is on first base. He is clearly on first base. So we will swing away again now with uh, top of the sixth, no outs. And um, Bobby Knopp is at the plate. And this looks like a strikeout. So he's out. That's one down. <clears throat> And now we have Pete Ward up. And Pete Ward is going to hit a uh, foul out to the catcher. And um, now Joel Horlin, the pitcher, is, or Joe Horlin. Sometimes it's Joel, sometimes it's Joe. He is up and he grounds out. So we're out of the inning, and Seattle comes up to the plate, and we're winning 4-1 here. Now, uh, defense set. I could position my defense, as you see here. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. And we're going to take a look at the field again, and we are going to say that the defense is set, and then that um, tells him to pitch, and Greg Goosen is the pinch hitter. And now the defense is still set. I guess when they brought in the pinch hitter, I have to say that again. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. So there's one away. Steve Hovley is the batter. And that is a fly out. There's two down. And... That was a double single split. It ended up being a single. Uh, so anyway, you get the idea. Um, it this is how it looks. The look of the game. Uh, we will go back to. Uh, let's see. We'll get out of this. And you can resume at any time. We'll go back to the. 
So here you can do a historical league. I can I can replay a White Sox season from the past, say 2005 or 1983, if I wanted to. Um, you could do a draft league, participate in a draft league. You can do the 2004 season playing today's games or an exhibition game using today's rosters, which would be kind of cool. Um, so, I mean, it does some other things that the computer game you can't do, um, other than in, a, in addition to the fact that you can do any season, any teams, and you have to actually buy the teams for the computer game. And you can replay any All Star game, so it does. It does have its. Um, it does have its advantages. It has its um, nuance that it uh, you know makes it uh, something that's maybe worth having. Now, uh, if I do keep this, I signed up for the year subscription, so it was. Um, forget what it was like. A hundred and nineteen dollars. Let me see. In fact, I can. Go back. I think I can go look at that um, uh, subscription. One hundred and ninety-nine dollars for one year. So um, that comes out to huh. it doesn't come out to ten dollars for a year because or ten dollars a month for a year because that would be a hundred and twenty dollars. So, anyway, that's the plan that I signed up for. If I don't cancel it, I'm going to play around with it a little bit more and see if I like it enough that I would use it enough that it would be worth $199. Um, <clears throat> and if it is, then, you know, I'll keep it. Um, but, um, yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, like I said, there's things it can do that the computer game can't do. Even if you bought, even if you had every season roster in the computer game, uh, there's still a, a few things this can do that even the computer game can't. So it's just a matter of whether you're going to use it enough. Um, another thing I don't like about it is that it automatically renews. So if I stay with this and I let the charge go through on my credit card, and I get this for a year, I'll have to remember next June, what is it, June 19th? Uh, I have to remember next June 19th or so, that or June 18th, that, um, that this subscription is going to come up unless Strat tells you that. But they didn't say they tell you that. It, they said it automatically renews. So I would have to remember prior to next June 18th to cancel the subscription and I don't like that so because if any of you out there have like Apple apps Apple like things apps for your phone and you get one that's like a year uh, subscription or you get one that's a month to month subscription my experience has been that they always tell you hey this is coming up um, you need to either renew it or you or cancel it but it doesn't sound like Strat's going to do that with this. So, which shouldn't shock anyone. So, uh, that is what I got. Um, it's just a look at a quick look at the game. I will experiment with it further. Um, I have until the 21st to cancel if I want, uh, or to keep it and let the charge go through on my credit card and then uh, keep using it. We'll see what I do. Uh, but. Uh, I'm, I'm not really committed one way or the other right now. Um, I mean, maybe I'm leaning a little bit towards keeping it just because it's going to my credit card. I, and, you know, once you buy the year, you're set for a year. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.